Hello guys, welcome to Photographics Academy. All right, so I've uh, encountered some photographers have a lot of issues with their backgrounds. They keep asking how do I, how do you smooth your backgrounds? How do you make it have textures? How do you uh, clean up your background to have a very clean e background and still make it look realistic? And that is what we are looking at today. So the topic of today's video is how to clean your background up to get a high end result. It's a very simple technique that is not going to take your time. All you need to do is just pay attention. So the first thing we are doing is to crop the image. I've done that already. So this was the crop that I used. Now I'm, I'm not going to crop again. In case you've not cropped your image, this is what you need to do. Then select your market tool. Let's fill this place up. Just select a, a part of the background. Do not allow it to touch your object. Look at that distance. Then press Ctrl T on your keyboard. Hold your shift and drag the end of this cursor like this. It's going to stretch the background. Of you don't need to pay attention to the to the stretch in the pixels because you are going to obviously blow it out. Then use the same technique here. Just take a pinch, press Ctrl T like this and stretch it out. The same thing with the last part. Ctrl T, take a pinch, Ctrl T and stretch it out and we are good to go. So the next thing we are going to be doing is to properly clean up the background. And how do you do that? Select any of your pick selection tool, go to select subject and wait for Photoshop to do the selection. So after the selection, we are going to need a little refining here and there if it's not perfect. Okay, so it selected just my image, but he's sitting on his stuff. So I'm just going to select inverse, Control Shift I to select inverse, hold your alternate, your your quick selection tool is going to change to minus, then minus the selection. Yeah, minus the chair from the selection and any other parts of the image you, did, you do not want in the selection. So this at the edge of his staff, I think I'm losing it into the selection. So I'm going to minus it like this. Beautiful. So it's going to just automatically find alignment to the edge like that. Nice. Okay. So after doing your selection, go to your layer. Duplicate your layer by dragging it over this plus icon. Right click on the image and go to layer via cut. Pick up your, hold your control rather. Click inside this box. That is the background box. It's going to reload up the selection. Go to filter, blur, Gosham blur. So just blur it out until your background is smooth. So let's go back. Look at the before. Look at the after. Look at the before. Look at the after. Okay, so one more thing we need to do is we want to add a little texture to the background to bring it to life. So how do we do that? We are going to, don't worry, we are going to take care of every other part of the selection that is not cool. So we are going to switch this one. Make sure that the object layer is at the top. The background layer is below. Click on the background layer, then minimize your Photoshop. It's going to bring you into wherever your, your image is at that time. Then locate your folder where your background is. For this image, I'm going to be using this background. So I'm just going to drag it over here. I'm not opening. Yeah, I'm just going to drag it inside Photoshop. Place it over the image as an embedded file. Then use your alternate to scale in like that. Beautiful. Yeah, nice. I think I love this. Press OK. Change the blend mode to soft light or any other blend mode that you feel that works better for you. I think I love the soft light. It's giving me a blend of the original background. I love the soft light. It's not entirely too dark. Uh, not bad with the overlay. I think I love the overlay as well. Okay, so all we need to do is to reduce the opacity just a little. Then go over to the background layer, create a mask for it, take up your brush and start unveiling your shadows. So I'm just going to pick up my black mask, my black brush rather, and start unveiling my shadows like this. Nice. So this is how you can restore your original shadows when you are done with the background uh background smoothing in and putting off and putting of a new one so just be doing before and after so you can see where the original shadows were and know the ones you need back and the ones you do not need back so it will make the whole thing look realistic beautiful so i think i'm cool with what i have nice this is good this is good so one more thing we can do is to apply a general or a global color grading on the image so i'm just going to put a cooling filter over the image to make the whole thing look aligned like this beautiful. 
okay so this is it before and after so let's put the whole stuff together in a group control g so this was the image before we started cleaning up the background this is the image after we cleaned up the background this is before this is after this is before this is after thank you very much for watching this amazing video make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and please do not forget to ring the bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video see you on our next video thank you